Andrew Ike is a hairdresser from Stapleford in Nottingham. He wanted to go ahead with a hair transplant to make himself feel a lot more confident, look a bit younger and feel a lot better in himself. Andrew had been thinking about having a hair transplant for around five years. During that time, he spent a great deal of time researching different techniques and looking into the top surgical teams around the country, including in London and Manchester. He was very happy to find Harris Hasib operating out of the excellent facilities on his doorstep at the Mapley Park Clinic, and that team has given him the confidence to go ahead with the procedure. The best advice he could offer to anyone considering this procedure is not to rush into it. He started his research five years ago and waited for his hair to stabilise. Andrew then worked with Mr Hasib and Mapley Park Clinic to create a master plan that looked to stabilise his hair loss before surgery using medication designed to give the best possible longer term results. The first step of the procedure is whereby I'll be harvesting skin from patient's uh, head. Uh, the skin has to be taken uh, from the back of a uh, patient's head, from the top and the bottom of the ear. This is the safe area on the back of a uh, patient's head. Um, if you see the boldest person on earth, they'll always have a fringe on the side and they'll always have um, uh, hair on the back. And the safest place to take a hair from is the top and the bottom of the ear. Uh, that's where I'll be taking the uh, strip from. Once the skin has been harvested, what happens is I give it to the technicians, they put it in saline, and they cut it into small strips called slithering. They slither them into small strips uh, under the microscope or under high magnification. Uh, once that's been done, it passes on to the, the other technicians who will be cutting them into little small follicles. They'll be removing the hair follicles from those slithers. Um, and then we have rows of one hair follicle, two hair follicles, and three hair follicles. Step three is, uh, is really important and I think that's the most technical side of the whole transplant procedure is whereby I'll be making incisions at a certain angle, at a certain direction. Uh, you can't have uh, hair at the front going straight back, they have to go forwards first and then go backwards. Uh, likewise, the hair in the temples or the back, they have different directions. So, And also, for example, when I'm doing this, uh, uh, the, the crown, you have to follow the swirl, the natural swirl in that area. Once the incisions have been made and the follicles are ready, we'll start putting the follicles into the, um, into the holes that I've made. Now we're placing the um, graft into the incision that Dr. Harris has made with um, jewelers, angle jewelers. Obviously not holding the hair too tight because we don't want to damage the dermal papilla, which is the hair follicle itself. Single hairs on the hairline at the very beginning and then twos and threes will go further the back because that's how the hair would naturally grow. You won't be able to see his donor area. It will all be covered with his own hair. Uh, he will have some scalps where the hair has been transplanted, but in that he has no dressing. It's all going to be left open. We will give him some medications because some patients do develop swelling after the procedure and that's to counter that. Also, we'll give him some um, uh, painkillers and some general hygiene advice. But in that, there's nothing special. Now that we've finished the process, the patient, he's gone for uh, some uh, laser treatment to the donor area. Uh, that's to the back of his head. Now, what the laser does, it increases the blood flow to that area, which improves the circulation and it helps with the healing process. So basically, we're improving the circulation to that area. Uh, to help with the healing process. He's going to have one session now and hopefully in a few days time he'll come back for another session and he should end up with a beautiful, a neat scar once it's all settled.